Back in the early 2000s, LimeWire was the most popular platform on the planet for downloading music and had over 50 million users at its peak in the late 2000s. This was until the US government forced LimeWire to cease all operations in 2011. In the US government's words, LimeWire hadn't done enough to prevent copyright infringement. Well, fast forward 12 years and LimeWire is back. I'm here with Lion Wire, gonna chat about some music. I wrote this song just for you. This is exclusive. All my fans get to hear something. But you know, exclusive for the first time, it's, it's hard. They're transforming, reinventing the world. Yeah, like, yeah. Every time we used to make songs, we come up with music. Exclusive brand new track. Opportunities for meeting grades. And maybe some more stuff. Okay. It's a part of me, and now it's a part of you. Okay, so in this video, we're going to have a quick rundown of LimeWire, the platform itself, and also LimeWire, the token. LMWR. So kicking things off, what is LimeWire the platform? So it's empowering artists through ownership, the new LimeWire. So LimeWire is the place to take control of your content, connect with your biggest fans and get paid for doing what you love. So anyone can become a creator on LimeWire. So join thousands of creators on LimeWire. As you can see, there is a lot of big names getting involved with LimeWire. The biggest one, as you can see here, H. So you can allow fans and followers to turbocharge your success. We are reshaping the creator economy by offering artists a unique way to collect with their biggest fans and monetize their creative content. So you can create ownable content, so by leveraging blockchain technology to make the content you create ownable by your fans, you will earn royalties every time your content is resold or traded among fans. So this is great for creators. You need to remember this platform is for both creators and consumers. So when we're going through all these things from an investment point of view, we need to think, is it going to be good enough for the creators for them to use the platform? And is it going to be good enough for the users to use the platform? So we need to keep both of them in mind so the creators can earn recurring revenue, earn regular subscription revenue through monthly memberships, payments from your fans and connect with fans so there's a way to have unique interaction with your fans or collectors by allowing them to contact you directly and start building a solid dedicated community around your brand. So who is LimeWire for? So LimeWire is a platform for all types of content creators from newcomer music artists and videographers all the way to world-renowned creative brands. So among other types of creators, LimeWire is used by musicians, podcasters, video creators, graphic designers, and educators to grow their communities and get paid for doing what they love. So as you can see here, a bunch of the type of people who would use LimeWire platform. And before we have a look at the LimeWire token, let's have a deeper look and look at the actual company itself. Let's see who's behind this platform. So here is the team here. You can see pretty diverse team from all around the world. We're on a mission to reshape the creator economy. So LimeWire has been relaunched to once again reinvent how fans and artists share content and interact with each other. So we can see about LimeWire here, a team led by the CEO Paul and Julian is on a mission to reshape the creator economy by offering the first content subscription platform with the concept of ownership at its core and leveraging the benefits of blockchain technology and Web3. So is it the first? I'm not too sure about that. We'd already invested in the project Opulus, which is pretty similar to this. It's a similar platform. It's musical NFTs. So not sure about the first, but we'll crack on. And as you can see here, we've got the management team. The website is limewire.com. You can come on here. You can have a look. You can dig deeper into the members behind this team, see if they are up for the job. And then scrolling down further, we can see the partners and advisory board. So 
some big names in there as well. So having a quick look at the platform, here we can see the actual product. So you're going to have the creator page, creative content, and then your membership. So they will need to subscribe to see a lot of content and the content that is created will be ownable and tradable. So LineWire uses blockchain and NFT technology to make each piece of exclusive content on the platform ownable and tradable. That is the beauty of NFTs. That is what we like about NFTs. Not a big fan on pieces of art, NFTs that are worth $20 million, a pixelated piece of art. But this is where NFTs come into play. This is where they matter, where you can own a track, you have full ownership of a track, you can sell that track on, you can earn royalties off that track. This is where NFTs are powerful. And then we see premium posts here. So regardless if your feed is free to access or requires a monthly membership, you can publish limited edition content of rare creatives at an additional cost. So again, this is great for the creators on the platform. And then as you can see here, we've got grow your audience, recurring net revenues, we've got subscriptions, earn royalties on every trade. Every single time one of your posts is resold or traded, you earn a 2.5% royalty base on the sale price. So as we can see, all of these things are great for creators, which is what's needed to grow a platform in the first place. If the platform isn't a good platform, no one will come and use it. So basically, if this platform sees huge artists moving, migrating over to this platform, like the likes of H and the other big artists they've got, that'll bring users to the platform and then the platform can grow. So at its core, the platform needs to be good for the creators. That's that's the whole point. It needs to be good for the creators. As we can see, the platform does look really good. It's really well polished. It's The branding's really nice. It is a good looking platform it does look very well put together and next we'll be looking at the LimeWire token which is what we have been investing in so we've got here LimeWire token lmwr the public token sale so you can join the official waitlist to become the first to be notified about the public sale invite your friends climb the leaderboard went up to 100,000 LimeWire tokens. So as we can see here, there is around six days. By the time this video is out, there'll be around five days before the public sale goes live. So the LimeWire token will be deeply integrated into all aspects of the LimeWire platform. Perks range from token rewards in exchange for loyalty, activity to community, voting rights and discounts, all the way to royalty distribution. So as we can see here, the LimeWire Foundation, the platform, the creators, the fans, the originals, LimeWire Pro, at the middle of that, at the core of that, is the LimeWire token. And here we can see the competitive landscape. So we can see here that LimeWire is ticking all the boxes. Do creators control their content? Yes. Can creators consume content? Yes. Do users have ownership, which is blockchain based? Yes, they do, which you don't get on Patreon or OnlyFans. Can users resell content? Yes, you can, which you can't do on Patreon or OnlyFans. Is there a subscription model? Yes. So in the competitive landscape, the LimeWire platform does look pretty good. And here we can see the LimeWire token. So the LimeWire token is an ERC20 token and it's at the heart of the ecosystem. So it's designed to enhance the user experience on the LimeWire platform with various perks and benefits in a gamified loyalty tier system. So in mid-2022, LimeWire successfully closed a 10.4 million pre-sale of the LimeWire token with a list of strong backers including Kraken Ventures, Arrington Capital, Crypto.com Capital and Swissborg Ventures as well. And here we can see the token utilities. So hold a minimum of one LimeWire token, you get 8% APR in LimeWire rewards. Hold a minimum of 15,000 tokens, you can get 12% APR. Full community voting rights, early access to merch drops. And also you've got 15% APR in LimeWire rewards. Full community voting rights, early access to merch drop, invitations to LimeWire parties, and access to exclusive pro community feed. So the LimeWire token is integrated deeply in the LimeWire ecosystem, resulting in gamified interaction and experience that puts LimeWire at the centre of their platform. So pay with LimeWire so users are able to use the LimeWire token across the platform to receive discounts and subscriptions, tip creators, access direct messages to creators and paid posts. You can earn LimeWire so creators can receive earnings in USD or in LimeWire tokens for a larger revenue share. So that is good to see as well. The creators on there are incentivized to use the LimeWire token, which is good for any LimeWire token investors. And activity rewards, so to give back to the community, users and creators will be rewarded for legitimate and regular activity, including top comments, reporting the productivity content and more. So again, being rewarded, being incentivized to be using the token 
at the heart of the platform. And then finally we've got here the roadmap. So we are currently here, Q2, waiting on the LimeWire token public sale. And the exciting part, there is three major exchange listings right after that. So if you are interested in the LimeWire token, there is a link down below where you can check that out. You can join the waitlist here, pass KYC, and then that is you. You will be ready for when the sale goes public. So to wrap things up, what do I think about it? Is it good? Is it bad? Am I buying? Am I selling? What is the plan? So what do I think? I think it is a great idea. I love the brand. I, I was a big user of LimeWire back in the day. I think it's a aesthetically pleasing brand, a nice platform. It seems very polished. I think that platforms like this are essential moving forward in the future where creators own their content and they can monetize their content through resale they'll always own a share of that and they'll always get royalties of their content because the likes of these other platforms as we've seen like Patreon and OnlyFans, you don't own the actual content. It isn't ownable on the blockchain and you can earn royalties from that in the future. Content creators do need an alternative. They do need a more modern, a blockchain related platform. Could this be the one that takes off in the future? possibly it could be for me it's a great idea it's a good company it's polished it looks good they've got big artists on board already it's one that will definitely be keep my eye on for the future i have invested in this in the community sale and i'm excited to see how it performs when it launches next week but that's just what i think what do you think is limewire the one is it a load of nonsense is it the future let me know down in the comments your reasoning are you buying it are you avoiding it What's your thoughts on it? Let me know down below and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.